carnival is over in the Bavarian town of Straubing, where the FDP held this year's Ash Wednesday meeting. Traditionally, the day marks the start of the fasting period of repentance and abstinence for the FDP as well. But party leader Guido Westerwelle hasn't been practicing restraint. The foreign minister's recent attack on the state welfare system provoked widespread outrage and outraged the chancellor. Vestavella slammed a culture of dependency he compared to late Roman decadence. And he's taking none of it back. The left may criticize me for this, but I stick to my statement that performance has to be rewarded. People who work should get more than those who don't. Vestavella is choosing not to use his diplomatic skills on the domestic political stage, but support is waning for the FDP. Opinion polls give the party only 7% of the vote, half of what they won in last September's elections. The downward trend can be explained in many ways. There have been revelations of a controversial campaign donation from a hotel chain, then a cut in value-added tax on bills for hotel rooms, and an ongoing row with the CDU-CSU coalition partners who don't want to cut taxes as fast as Vestavella's party. The conflict has unsettled many FDP voters. But party stalwarts still support him. The coalition needs a motor, and that's the FDP. The Conservatives just want to carry on more or less as in recent years. What he said makes sense. I don't think it was exaggerated or excessive. He said what needed to be said. You have to respect people who don't react to falling approval ratings, but stay on course, like they have for years. But the change in tone in the FDP is being registered all over Germany, above all in North Rhine-Westphalia, where state elections take place in May. Dortmund, for example, an SPD stronghold, is a tough challenge for the FDP. Lars Rechstadt is a doctor, self-employed, high-earning, a typical FDP member. Herr Feen, bitte. He's confronted with social reality on a daily basis. Many residents of Dortmund's Scharnhorst district are poor and unemployed. The criticism of welfare recipients has not gone down well here. The feeling among the party rank and file is that the actions of the leadership on state and federal levels can be seen critically. The FDP's grassroots members in Dortmund are worried. The party wants to continue its governing coalition with the CDU in the state, but the rhetorical blasts from the party leadership in Berlin aren't helping. The Free Democrats fear for the election outcome. Some issues are polarizing the population, like the welfare debate. As an FDP supporter, you have to ask if this is the right way to handle it. We spent 11 years on the opposition bench, and now we want to get stuff done fast. So there's bound to be some friction. In Berlin, they're not explaining things properly to ordinary people. That's the problem. They can make their fancy speeches, but most people don't know what they're talking about. But at the Ash Wednesday meeting, Vestavella stuck to his guns. He says pushing through tax and social welfare reforms is something he owes his voters. I don't think the people are afraid of being told the truth. In fact, they want politicians not just to aim for popularity, but to do the right thing. And whoever does the right thing will be popular. But politics for the sake of popularity is bad politics. Guido Westerwelle is back. The foreign minister has reverted to what he always was, a canny domestic politician.